Australia discovered less than four kilometers beneath Yellowstone National Park. It's thought the cap may help stop the volcanic system from erupting by constantly releasing gas and pressure from beneath its surface. Yellowstone National Park is known to sit atop a large, active magma pool which causes bubbling mud pots and steaming geysers. Now, geologists have discovered a layer of magma rich in volatiles or dissolved gases that can cause an eruption just 3.8 kilometers beneath Yellowstone's surface. It's thought the cap may help stop the volcanic system from erupting by constantly releasing gas and pressure from beneath its surface. It appears to be efficiently venting gas through cracks and channels between mineral crystals, says researcher Brandon Schmant from Rice University in Texas. He likens the system to a permanent breather, with bubbles rising and escaping through the rock. The researchers from Rice University, the University of New Mexico, the University of Utah, and the University of Texas at Dallas, published their findings in the science journal Nature. To make their discovery, the team used a 53,000-pound Vibroses truck, typically used for oil and gas exploration, to create small earthquakes and send seismic waves underground. Because Yellowstone is so busy and large, they had to conduct their experiments at night and used more than 600 seismometers to collect their data. The seismic waves layers beneath the Earth's surface and are then recorded at the surface. The results suggest that the ice sheet is about 2.4 miles .8 kilometers deep. Previously, scientists estimated that the top of Yellowstone's magma system might be between 2 and 5 miles .1 to 8 kilometers deep. This uncertainty makes it difficult to know how the current magma system compares to conditions before past eruptions. Using magnetotellurics, the researchers produced a detailed picture of the magma beneath Yellowstone, providing insight into the distant future of possible volcanic activity. Each year, Yellowstone National Park draws millions of visitors who want to see exploding geysers, steaming hot springs, and bubbling mud pots. The famous natural landmark is the result of the park's unique geology. It sits atop a supervolcano, which has produced three large, explosive eruptions in the past 2.1 million years. Many curious observers have wondered if and when Yellowstone will erupt again. Now, scientists are using a new technique to help answer these questions. A new analysis published last week in the journal Nature suggests that Yellowstone is unlikely to experience another major eruption, at least not anytime soon, because the magma lurking beneath its surface is divided across a network of different chambers. of the vast amount of magma present, Yellowstone will remain volcanically active. However, no single region of Yellowstone that is capable of erupting. Lead study author Ninfa Bennington, a seismologist at the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, told Sarah Raza of the Washington Post, There's a lot of magma there, but it's not very connected. Previous research has suggested there's a large layer of magma beneath Yellowstone, but the new findings contradict that idea. There are separate areas where magma is stored in Yellowstone, rather than having one big reservoir, Bennington told Fox Weather's Angeli Gabriel. Other studies have relied primarily on seismic waves, which help map underground structures. Because seismic waves travel at different speeds through different types of materials, scientists can use them to see what's beneath Earth's surface, like layers of solid rock or chambers filled with hot magma. 